Hey, Mr. Meadowitz, it's good to see you again. Uh, tell I, I, a question for you. Is there like any food that like you just woo, you just can't do? There, <laughs> gauging by my size, it probably the answer would be no. But there are a few that are on my hate list. Uh, turnips would be near the top. Um, pretty much anything in the vegetable family. Again, not a huge surprise here. Uh, how about you? I hate mushy food. Anything mushy, especially like mushy vegetables. I like vegetables as long as they're raw, but you mush the yeah. Do not like mushy. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, this just doesn't work for me. I mean, I, I like oatmeal or something like that, but like mushy vegetables, it's just ugh. when you boil vegetables, it's it's death. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> hey, today's we're going to continue our discussion of dimensional analysis. And today we're gonna to do kind of more difficult problems. We like to call them multi-dimensional problems. And what we've got is we've just got three key tricks that you have to worry about. So the three key tricks when dealing with, you know, let's call it multi-dimensional problems are number one. So number one, do uh, one dimension at a time. Again, this may not make complete sense when uh, you're writing this down, but it will when we do examples. Number two, when units are on the bottom, not in the bottom, that's an O, on the bottom, cancel up. And when dealing with square or cubic units, you must write each one out and cancel twice or three times. Square twice and cubic three times. The only way to learn this, Mr. Dimitrich, is probably to do what? You gotta do examples, and it'll, I think it'll make sense. So our first example is if you're going 8.5 kilometers per hour, we want to go to meters per second. Now let me say this, guys. Really, really, really important. That little line there, I call a slashy. There are no slashies allowed in conversion. Never slashy. Mr. Demetrius, what, 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 where do slashies come from when they're doing them? They are from where? Well, when, at me, whenever you're doing your table, the slashy is a divide number. So that slashy means you put whatever's below it underneath in the table. So you don't say 8.5 km slash HR, you write 8.5 km over one hour. You see, that slashy means this. Write it this way, do not write it as a slashy. So no slashies. They're from the devil. Yep. Okay. <laughs> now, the rule says that we wrote down a minute ago, you do one dimension at a time. So I need to convert kilometers into meters and then hours into seconds. And you do them one at a time. Let's do the kilometers. Kilometers on top. And we're going to go from kilometers to meters. Now, this is a conversion that's actually built into the metric system, right? So I'm going to put kilometers on the bottom. Look, notice what I'm doing is I'm just putting the unit on the bottom and meter on the top. I know I know this conversion. So I do kilometers to meters. And you know, here's a rule I like when do the uh, metric to metric or whatever, is you put the one next to the bigger unit, right? So the biggest unit is a kilometer. So he's a one. So then how many meters are in a kilometer? Mr. Dimitrovich, I bet you know this. That's a thousand. There's a thousand. So now the kilometers cancel. But I'm not just interested in converting the kilometers into meters. I want to convert the hours into seconds. And let's do another fraction. Now here, guys, and, and the conversion table here does not have hours to seconds. We're making an assumption that you know some of these conversions. Now, notice that the hour is on the bottom. So if you looked at the rule number two, it said you need, if the unit's on the bottom, you cancel up, right? So the hours on the bottom. So what do I do up here, Mr. Dimitrovich? What unit do I write? You got to put. You got to put an hour on the top. I got to put an hour. On the bottom. Now, do you know? Maybe you do, but I bet most students don't know how many seconds are an hour. But they do something else. What else do you know? You know how many what? You know how many how many minutes there are in an hour. So I can do minutes. So we can do this. Bottom, in right. And which is which is bigger, an hour or a minute? Well, it's an hour. An hour is so bigger. There are sixty minutes in an hour, so my hours cancel. But I, now I have like meters per minute. I don't want meters per minute, I want meters per second. So I add another fraction. And now since the minutes on the bottom and I want the minutes to cancel, where do I put minutes in this last fraction? Now it goes minutes go on the top. And I can put seconds, abbreviated S, on the bottom. The minutes, the bigger unit, he gets a one, and this is 60 seconds. Now, again, this goes back to the last video, 
numbers on the top, multiply, numbers on the bottom, divide. So I'm going to take 8.5 times 1,000 divided by 60 divided by 60. I know it sounds weird to pay divide, divide. If you say they're multiplied, no, 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 because it's, just trust me, <laughs> that's how it works. I get 2.3611. And this is only two significant digits. These are all definitions. So that's going to be 2.4 uh, meters. Now, I might well write this with a slashy because that's just the final answer. This next one, we're going to convert 0 0.49 pounds per liter into grams per milliliter. All right. Mr. Dimitrovich, first thing we got to do is how do we rewrite the 0.49 thing? You have to set it up just like we did every time with the train tracks. And remember, it's slashes we can't write together. So slashes mean divide. So that number that's the units on the bottom. Um, uh, is going to be set up that way. So we got 0.49 pounds in a liter, and I have to do the pounds to the grams and the liters to the milliliters. Now, pounds to liters, conversion tables, we know this. Now, pounds is on top, so I'm going to put pounds on the bottom and grams on the top. We do know this conversion. So, again, what's that conversion from the table, Mr. Dimitrovich? Well, I'm looking at it right here, and it says one pound is equal to 400, and oh, my glasses are not on right now, 53.6 grams, I believe. Yep. So the pounds cancel, and now I've got grams, so I'm happy. But now I need to get from liters to milliliters. Now, liters is on the bottom, right? So if you've got a unit on the bottom, you cancel up. So the liters goes on the top, and I do milliliters on the bottom. Now, that conversion may not be on our conversion table, but milli, which is bigger, a liter or a milliliter? Liter is definitely bigger. So he gets a one. So put one next to it. And then we have 1,000 milliliters. There's 1,000 millis in a hole. And now I get my trusty calculator out, and I got numbers on the top and the bottom, 0.49 times 4, oops, type right, 453.6 divided by 1,000. And I get this to be 0 0.222264, and that's grams per milliliter. I need to, of course, round that to 2 sig fig, so that's 0 0.22. Our next example was 0 0.054 meters cubed into centimeters cubed. Now, this one's tricky because this has cubic units. This is volume, a meter by a meter by a meter to a centimeter by a center by a centimeter. But if you looked at the last rule, look at your notes, you'll notice that you have to write them separately. So I'm going to write 0 0.054, and I'm going to write meter, 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 because that's what meter cubed means, right? over one. Now, you now have to do this, the conversion from meters to centimeters, three times, meter, meter, meter. All right, so now what you do, Mr. Dimitrovich, we're going to cancel out one of the meters, so what do I do on the bottom now? Well, one, cent, uh, one meter is going to go on the bottom because it needs to cancel, and we have to put centimeters on the top. And there's a hundred centimeters a meter. The meter is the bigger unit, centimeters small. And there's centimeters one one hundredth, I guess. Now that cancels off one of the meters, but I got to cancel out all three meters. So I basically do this three times. So the meters, the three meters, the meter, meter, meter cancels, and you're left with centimeter, 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 better known as centimeter cube. So now I'm going to take this 054 number, 0 0.054 times 100 times 100 times 100, and I come up with. 54,000 centimeters. Now, I will write the cubed here because that's what a centimeter, centimeter, centimeter is. It wouldn't be wrong to write centimeter, 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 but it's more simplified from a, a algebraic expression to write centimeter cubed. So when you're faced with, this could be like a square, but then it would be like meter, meter. If you get square or cubics, you break them apart, and then you have to cancel each one at a time. And our last example, guys, is we're going to do kind of the big monster, horrible dove question. 15 pounds per foot cubed, and we're going to go into grams per milliliter. So this is a, this is a crazy one. Yeah, you're not going to see problems like this normally. We're giving this example because we always want to make sure that if you can do the hardest example, you can do any example. And this is definitely the hardest example you're going to ever find. So I'm going to say 15 pounds, but not per foot cubed, but per foot. Times foot. Times foot. 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 And remember, you do one dimension at a time. Let's do the easy dimension, pounds to grams. We, we've done this like uh, in most of our examples earlier. We can say pound on the bottom, one pound 
is 453.6 grams. So we know that we're done. That's easy. Now I need to get the feet cubed into milliliters. Now let me give you a hint. To get to feet cubed to milliliters, I can go from feet, just let's just worry about the feet. I can go from feet to inches to centimeters to milliliters. This can be a long process. It's gonna take two lines, I'm gonna guess, probably. So to get rid of a foot, I'm gonna go take one of my feet and I wanna to get to inches. We know this, right? There's one foot, it's 12 inches. But because it's foot, 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 what do I have to do? I have to do it three times. All right, so I've got my foot, foot, foot canceled because I did foot, foot, foot here. Now I've got inch cubed or inch. I can go from inch to centimeter. Now we know that from our, our, our table here, right? And we know the inches, it's the 2.54 number. So, but I gotta do this three times. So I can say inches on the bottom. So I need to put it on top. So inch, centimeter, one inch is 2.54 centimeter. And I'm just gonna come down here. I give it two more times. One inch is 2.54 centimeters and one inch is 2.54 centimeters. I've done that three times. Now I've got centimeter, centimeter, centimeter on the bottom. And, and if you look at the table, this is a little confusing, but it says somewhere that a centimeter cubed is equal to a milliliter. Do you see that in the conversion table? And so what we can say is that one cm, cm, cm is equal to one milliliter. And so that cancels off my CMs, and that's it. Now, calculator is gonna be a mess. I've got, I guess, just two numbers on the top and a bunch of numbers on the bottom. So I'm gonna take uh, 15 times 450, oops, 3.6. You know what I recommend, guys, that you actually get your calculators out and then you follow along to make sure you get the same answer. Divide by 12, divide by 12, divide by 12. I'm keeping the divide, divide, divide. Divide by 2.54, divide by 2.54, divided by 2.54, and this is just a one, so that's it. And I come up with 0 0.24028, or some odd number, dot, 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 and that would be grams per milliliter. Now, that's too many sig figs. This number, just kind of look at Mr. Dimitri, you said, just look at the first number, the 15, and this when is just going to be, yeah, 0.24 grams per milliliter. And there you have it. So this is the nasty ugly. There is a couple problems that are kind of like this in the worksheets that you're gonna have to do. So we're gonna see if you can do this. Uh, and hopefully you'll see this out. It just, you get feet, 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 centimeter, 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 and you're good to go. Mr. Demetrius, this, this is like the end of our first unit. That's pretty awesome. We, we, you, these kids have been like with us and we're, they're so awesome, aren't they? Congratulations, students. You've made it through the first unit. All right, we got we will see you guys in class.